Shalom. 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 We the Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, America, aka Babylon, aka Egypt. We want to start out by giving our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Dub honors to the elders and apostles for teaching us this truth and bless to the brothers pushing the word throughout the four corners. All right. The lesson I'm going to get into today is basically starting in 2nd Edges. 15 chapter the first verse is basically going to get into a prophecy because we are in the end times where these things are going to catch up basically mainly the the evil events that's about to happen upon the face of the earth okay right. starting with the uh, different diseases okay pestilence all right uh what's next world war three all right people uh actually standing in their power people bucking up against the juice you know they refusing to take it all right, then you got countries like Haiti, Cuba, all right, all those countries, they are in the uproar because, man, basically they sick and tired of this shit. South all right. Africa. Yep, South Africa. Mexico. Mexico. All these other nations, man, they, they sick of this shit, man. We are we waiting for the downfall of America. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get into it. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And who are the Lord's people? Starting with the nation of Israel. Starting with you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Indians all the way down, man. All right, y'all are the chosen people according to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. All right? Which I'm, I'm, I can go ahead and get there. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art no holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So above these heathens, what we got? We got Esau, the so-called white man. We got Moab, the Chinese, Hammond, the Japanese, I, Ishmael, Arabs. <laughs> All right, we got all these other nations, 18 nations in the earth, and the Lord only chose what? A Pacific people, Israel. All right. Continuing on in 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, verse 1. Uh, I'll, I'll read it again. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So all these things that's in this Bible, such as like the pestilence, the sword, all these things is about to come true. All right? You people need a, really, you need a reality check because... We're coming into some evil times, all right? We are at the end game of Esau kingdom in the beginning of Jacob's. But before we get to that point, Jacob's trouble got to carry out, all right? Come on, bro. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. This basically means the uh, the unbelief, all right? Because mainly, who's the biggest uh, scoffer towards the truth? You Israelites. Okay, whom the word was whom the word was preached. Well, I mean, who we were sent on to to teach. All right, to tell about these prophecies. I'm gonna get this right quick. Matthew ten and seven. Mm. We started at five. This is Matthew chapter ten, verse five. These twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Mm -hmm. You people need to wake up. All right? Starting with you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and Indians, man. Y'all the Lord's chosen people. All right? Y'all been told in America that y'all ain't been shit. Okay? Y'all ain't been nothing but drug dealers, robbers, murderers. All right? Just let the white man just basically he been putting a bad name on you, basically by words. Savages and slaves. Man. Yeah, that's what he said to Gad and them, man. Talk about they savages, but he the one that came over to the land and, and genocide. Yeah, genocide. Uh -huh. Genocide them, man. Killed them by the millions, man. I love going into their history because people don't people don't like to go back. They mind stop it like what? Fucking 19, 1600s? Shit, they thought racism ended in the 70s. Yeah, what you I'm know, saying. After Jim Crow laws. Man, you, you, your parents were alive back then, man. During Jim Crow laws. <laughs> and then Jake like to say this too. Jake will say, uh, man, don't 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 man, don't want us. Yes the fuck they were. That was you. Forefathers. That was you, bro. Alright? There was nobody else. You are you are a chosen people, man. 
Okay? What? Romans uh, 8 and 16. Spirit bear, the Spirit bear witness. Let me get that. Let's get a little bit of second Andrew. And 15. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Yeah, and how, hey, how, how you know that? The sports. LeBron Giants can dominate. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, Cronin McGregor. Uh, you got the UFC. You got the boxing. Everything. You got the rap. Jake, Jake dominating all types of shit, man. Okay, it's like a sport unto Jake. This shit with ease, all right? Okay, you got... Uh, damn, what it was, man. It was, it's a Jake, man. He played basketball, man. He got fucking one arm. This man took it from up under his legs with the with the other arm and slammed that bitch and didn't have no arm, huh? Mm -hmm. That let you know, man, that our people are very talented. That's all this shows. Yeah. We the salt, we the form of all things. He, he saw they create shit. He didn't create these lights and shit, man. All right? He just basically, man, hey, he, he, he basically, you created and he just put his name on it. He, he steals the patent. Yeah. Is that that's what happened? You know, they try to say Thomas Edison built or invented the light bulb, but really he had he had different servants under him, and his servant was the one that discovered it and created it. But he had the patent. You know, and that goes that goes into every invention on Earth, man. Mm -hmm. Even to this day, there's stuff being invented every day. Yeah. But then after a certain amount of time, you're legally allowed to reverse engineer it. And come up with a different. You can uh, uh, create the same patent, but and own it. And then every, every, you know, if they don't have a patent on it, which Jake doesn't know anything about, you know, putting a patent on their work, you know. So after a certain time, you saw reverse engineers it and creates that patent. Right? Yeah. So then any any type of product that uses that invention inside of it, Esau makes money off of it. And Jake's, you know, tossed to the side. Shit, Steve Steve Jobs, man. Mm. He didn't invent shit. Yeah. He just knew how to, uh, uh, you know, manipulate people to work for him. Man. I think it was like one of his friends, you know, in the garage that made the keyboard. And he took it and ran with it. He knew how to, you know, sell it to people. That's all he he was. He was just a good marketer, man. Mm. What's the uh, unrighteous dealers getting by deceit? Yeah. Um, What's the that's in. Uh, yeah. I know it's in the apartment. When the kingdom is translated. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 10, verse 8. It says, Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah, and how he took it over, man. Ultimately, the earth, Job 9 and 4, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked because Israel transgressed. But how he took it? By rape, rob, and murder, starting with the northern kingdom, okay? Native Americans, the Mayan Indians, all right? The Aztecs, you is a cop, all right? He took y'all over, man. Here it is. When he came unto her, his whole intentions was to, you know, get gold and silver. You know what I'm saying? To get the gold, the silver. But him being the murderer, hey, he slayed they ass off, man. Alright? Even when uh they showed him how to uh geo how you say it, geographic, geo geography. Yeah, when you show the like when you showed him the how the earth is, he bas they basically showed him how to take care of himself, mm -hmm. how to get the herbs, how to hunt. Okay, they showed him a lot of things, Agriculture man. Agriculture and stuff. Yep. And, and, when, and, and aquaculture. You know, because Gad, Gad knew how to uh, uh, cultivate fish and, and sea life, yeah. you know, and harvest them. Man. They knew the stars, okay, the moon. They celebrated the moon Sabbaths, all right? Hey, you know that they was Israelites. That they, they had talent, man. And what, what, what Esau do? Read that again. I got you. I got you. I got you. So rock 10 and 8, because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people unto another. Basically, Esau's a murderer, man. Mm -hmm. Alright? What he did to them Native Americans, man, was horrible. Mm -hmm. Alright? It was horrible, man. It was horrifying, man. They they cut the stomachs of the uh 
the women, all right, and snatched the babies out, mm -hmm. okay, and then dashed them, all right. They said, look, even when the leaders, they use Christianity as a device to implement their uh, their, their kill. Mm -hmm. So they basically told them, look, if you don't convert to our Christianity, because they knew what we worship, man, they knew who we, who we were, all right. They said, basically, if you don't convert to Christianity, we'll have to kill you. So one of the leaders in Native Americans, they converted to Christianity, and Esau killed them anyway. Just to show you how much of a devil he is. Words smoothing and butter, but war is in his heart. Right. Yeah, what was it? An estimated of Esau breaking like 300 and something treaties? Man, five, yeah. Ooh, I think it was 500 or 300 treaties. Yeah, and yeah. It, that's just like an estimate. You know, that's just written treaties. Cause you know Jake, you know likes to make word of mouth covenants. You know our word is our bond. You know just shake hands on it and then it, you know just hold up your end. This devil come with a paper. Yeah. And then don't even go by the paper. Yeah, he tears it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, brothers like to say he like to use a pencil and erase them all. Right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, if I may add, I was watching a movie called Joke Last Joke Last Night, and uh, the Edomite in the uh, limousine he was telling the woman. He said, um, you know how um, I keep my reputation? Basically, he said, uh, the reason how I keep my uh, reputation is by not keeping my word. So, man, hey, man, <laughs> Esau evil, man. <laughs> what did it say? He is the liar and the father of it? Yeah. I'm going to cop that, man. Fuck that, bro. You, know that. you can also look up the one where it says uh, his words are smoother than butter. The war was in his heart. Yeah, man. Uh, I got something real quick. This is uh, Psalms 83 and 1. Keep not thou silence, O, o, o the Most High. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemy make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. And the hidden ones are talking about Israelites. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's, you know, like the brother was going into when Esau came over and started, you know, using that uh, that plantation Christianity doctrine to, you know, <laughs> to either convert the Native Americans into their own ideologies yep. or killing them off, man. You know, they, they uh, use those Catholic uh, uh, churches as basically a concentration camp. They would separate the, the children from the parents separate the man from the woman so the woman couldn't defend herself you know broke the man down you know kill, killed off the men that were trying to fight against them and then you know brought the Native Americans up into a uh, uh, different you know in the English language mm -hmm. so they did they forgot their heritage yeah. they started practicing Catholicism he basically convert mm -hmm. convert is when you change someone's uh, inheritance uh, by by uh for to to your purpose, you know what I'm saying? Not to theirs, to yours. You know what I'm saying? Because according to Judah five and seventeen, and the apocrypha, they know how we get down with our power. They know about your how about Shem I was shot. They know our ordinance. So it was a Moab Moab uh soldier. He basically said we can't infiltrate Israel because they're uh if they worship your how about Shem I was shot, they're strong. Okay, because the Lord is our the Lord is our uh, our power, man. Our yeah, our source, like we went into yesterday. All right, and he he protects us, man. So if we run away from their hedge and we go off and we worship idols, okay, and we do and, and, and we uh profane our holy days, okay, and we go against our customs that the Lord has uh, set up for us to go by. Guess what? We get we get easily taken over by these other nations. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh yeah, they're all uh, words smoother. Yeah, yeah. Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but words in his heart, and his words were softer than oil, and yet when they draw swords. Mm -hmm. And that, that's Esau Edom, man. man. You know, he knows how to <laughs> come in sly and cunning. Right. You know, he thinks. You know, the way he words stuff makes you think that he's on your side. Yeah. But then, you know, when you put it in layman's terms, he's fucking you up. Yep. Go to a bank and start negotiating loans and, and, and deals. Ooh. He's, he's going to start talking about interest rates and, and assets and liabilities Labs. and how it's going to benefit you. He 
It's right in the Gucci. front. Yeah, it sounds nice. Sounds like you're about to walk out with, you know, a, a bunch of money. But in reality, you're subjected to, to payments once you uh, 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 get that loan. Mm -hmm. You know? And he's fucking, fucking you over in the long run. You know, he'll give you a, a $250,000 loan to go to college, but won't give you a $100,000 loan to buy real estate. <laughs> Why? Because he knows if you go to, you know, get a bullshit ass degree in college, you're going to be stuck paying that off, mm -hmm. you know, for, for, for your lifetime, man. Right. Until you're 80, lifetime you know? Deal. And then same thing, you know, it, but he knows if you put that loan towards real estate that you can, you know, renovate, put a house on it and then sell it for a profit. And even in doing so, Esau will still make money off of that loan, but he doesn't want to do that for you, man. And he justifies it by saying, no, that's, that, that'll be a liability for you. You know, that's too much effort. That's, that's going to require too much money to you know, build that up. Hey, man, and then it goes on and on, everything, man. Uh, um, you know, you can research different insurance policies, whether it be car, life, or, or house. You know, the, the the cheapest premium, which is the only premium Jake can afford, is the worst one, man. You're not covered for shit. <laughs> shit. You know, you hit a pothole and they, <laughs> they're saying, you're on your own, man. Yeah. <laughs> Knocks your whole engine loose, he said, you're on your own. They let you know that this kingdom ain't for Jake. Yeah. Shit. They're like, you know, we got to get the hell up out of here. Because if we be in here, man, he going to find a way to destroy us at our real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what, what's he's doing now? He, he's, his words are smooth as butter, you know, offering that uh, arm candy. Yeah. You know, he's, he's saying he's, he's saying he gonna give y'all a, a, a hundred dollars if y'all take the vaccine. Then he's saying he gonna give y'all stimulus check. Y'all niggas ready for this shit? Mm -hmm. That's all y'all gonna do is take it, cause y'all fucking kids, man. Y'all immature. Then you stupid in the motherfucker too. So I can. <laughs> But I'm just saying, man, like, I've been meditating the whole week just how just, hey, the gift destroys the heart. So the more this man, this man, a, a woman won a million fucking dollars just to get, just to take the vaccine. It's a lock -in. Just to take the juice. And what y'all do? Ooh, I'm finna go do what she do. Israel always want to follow, okay? Follow after everything except, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. They say through deceit, they refuse to know me, man. They, they, they love deceit. They love smooth words, according to Isaiah. All right? Yeah, I think it's uh, 30, 30. 30. Yeah. God, this is Isaiah chapter 30. I'm going to start at verse 9. I'll start at 8. Isaiah 30 and 8. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Yeah, so the Lord put these words in this book, man. All right? People want to say this the white man book. Nah, mm -hmm. this is your how about shit about shot book, man. Mm -hmm. Esau ain't got shit to do with it but the destruction part. All right? It says uh, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. They say this is a rebellious people. Let me look up rebellious. Isaiah 30 and uh, 9. I'll keep reading while you've read that. Uh, verse 10, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. <laughs> so basically all the little shit, it was better, we just shut the hell up, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's basically what it's saying. Yeah, they, they want us off the street, man. <laughs> they want us off YouTube. <laughs> they take comfort in lies, man, rather than truth. Yeah. And then I went into repairs, I clicked on the root. It's Marah. And it means to be continuous and to be rebellious, be refract, refractory, be disobedient towards and be rebellious against towards the to be disobedient, to be rebellious towards the Father, towards Yahweh. To show rebellionness, show disobedience and disobey. Yeah, disobey, man. That's all that's all two thirds, you know, do. Mm -hmm. Disobey, go contrary against the Most High's judgments, That's right. against His prophecies. You now here we are. We're trying to warn you of the devil, according to the scriptures. Esau, Edom, how he's in control right now, and his agenda is, you know, trying to kill off <laughs> you, Jakes, man. Yeah. 
and he's trying to put put the uh, um, that RFID or NFC chip inside. And that's the end goal. Mm -hmm. Right now, he's conditioning your minds with that arm cake. You know, what I'm saying if you don't if you don't comply with this mandate, you know, you can't work. You're going to be second class citizens. You know, there it's already happening in, in what New York and, and Australia. Yeah, Australia. Australia is wild, man. And they, and, hey, they're second classes. They basically saying you're gonna be fugitives in the minute, man. Yeah. Cause back in uh, in 2020 when the coronavirus popped off, I don't think they they've been doing like America been doing underhanded lo passing laws. And one of the laws that America passed was to basically label you as a fugitive or lay or give you damn near 25 to life if you got the coronavirus and didn't tell nobody. You basically threatened somebody else's life. Which, which can label you as a murderer, so you get what? Murder sentences, like 25 to life. 25 years in prison for fucking coronavirus, man. Shit whack, man. And this supposed to be the kingdom? Yeah, what, what was, I'm trying to remember what that uh, bill was called. But it, anyways, it doesn't matter, but it's that thick ass one that uh, also had, you know, it, it was giving out money to like, it gave out way more money to foreign countries than it did the United States. And if you if you don't know, if you're not familiar with like how uh, foreign economics work, and, and you know if you know that the American dollar is really debt, you know America's in trillions of dollars of debt. So the more people that they give money to, then those countries also inherit that debt. So whenever the dollar collapses, those foreign countries that also have that U.S. dollar their economies are gonna to collapse too. That is the whole agenda for loan amount money uh, uh, for economic relief. That's, that also shows how Esau Edom operates, man. He's, he's pacing it off like, oh yeah, this is your, uh, uh, you know, for like, you know, aid, mm -hmm. basically. But in reality, you know, it's inflation, man. And it's it's gonna be considered worthless. Yeah. But yeah, that that uh that bill that was passed, man. It, there's a lot of uh, what they call pork in it, right? <laughs> and that's basically what you know politicians say whenever they have hidden, you know, terms and conditions and, and fine print, you know, slash it, you know, in a in a bill. That's right. why you know they can pass like a uh, an organic bill, you know, put a fancy name on it, but in it, you know, they they they're saying that you have to use certain pesticides that really poison the plants. It's all types of shit like that, you know? It shows who, you know, that this is Esau's kingdom. Yep. Because it ain't in Jake's spirit to, you know, to kill off life. It's in our spirit to to grow, you know, and to chill, you know? We ain't trying to, you know, bust our ass for for, for nothing, man. That's right. We just let, let life live and then reap the benefits from it. Yeah. Hold on. Um, what did you read last? Uh, oh yeah, I'm still on definition. It say, uh, diso disobey, grievously, provoke provocation, and provoke. Yeah, to provoke someone means to, to you know, you're pushing buttons. Yeah. You know, to provoke someone to anger means you're pushing their buttons until they get mad on purpose. And that's what you two thirds uh, do, two third Israelites daily. Y'all do this shit daily. Man, me and Zob, man, we was riding last night, man. We looked at the crew, you know, the, the regular Bill Street shit. And we were just shaking our head, like, how much more can you people enjoy the same shit? You know what I'm saying? You walk up and down the street. You know what I'm saying? You put on your friend, you, you put on new clothes. That day you went shopping that day. Yeah, spend your paycheck <laughs> on, on a new outfit and man. on your bar tab every single weekend. And, and look, you do all this shit, then you go right back to work being oppressed by Esau. Then you do it all over again. The Lord is sick and tired of this shit, man. Mm -hmm. What's that folly said in great dignity? That's uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. Yeah. This is, uh... No, see, start at 6. And six. Yeah. This is okay. This is a uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 6. 
This is Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in, in low place. Yeah, folly is set in great dignity. That's why you people can't see the time that's about. Hey, y'all not measuring the time. All right? Y'all doing whatever y'all want to do, man. Okay, y'all riding your hair, kids. You got your bad bitch. You got your baby. You got a nice job to pay you good money an hour. Y'all sleep. Which goes to that next scripture. Hey, how long will you simple ones will you love simplicity? Okay? Simple just being stupid. How long will you stupid ass Israelites love simplicity, man? Y'all love the same shit. Y'all been doing this shit since I was seven. <laughs> uh, verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite him. Yeah. Read that first part again. Yes, sir. Yeah. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Yeah, that's basically talking about Israel, man. Here it is. Y'all are kings, man, and y'all fucking looking like servants upon Esau's kingdom, man. All right? Here it is. The baby made one more, like one little slur out his mouth, and Esau punished his ass, man. Y'all don't have no power with her. It's Esau kingdom, man. All right? And y'all need to understand that, or he gonna make you understand it when he do mandatory jab juices on you people, man. Or when he threaten your livelihood or your bills. Right now, y'all living it up. Therefore, when that, when when Trump, when trouble and times hit, man, y'all is gonna be through. Go, go back to Second Ezra fifteen. Jump back to Second Ezra verse fifteen. Or chapter 15. It's like 2 Ezra's 15. And you want me to start at uh, 3 again? That's where we left off. Though. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. You're not using imagination. 2 Ezra's 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, man, they should know it after death by pain because they have loaded a lot while they yet had liberty. All right, we out here today to tell y'all that destruction is coming and y'all ain't hearing it. We might be speaking to you Negroes, Latinos, Native American, Indians, Haitians, Jamaicans, whatever, man, 12 tribes. All right? Keep going on there, bro. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, Death and destruction. Yeah. Read this slow. Go back to it. Come. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword. Esau. Famine. You you people not eating, man. Alright? And then famine of the word too. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see us on the street no more. Alright? The Lord gonna remove us and he gonna put his prophets, man, somewhere where you people can't get to us, alright? Death and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Lord coming to destroy this place, man. He ain't gonna hold his tongue no more with our wickedness, man. All right? Ain't this him? Hold oh, on. This right here. Oh, yeah, it says, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yeah, and it backs up Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. All right, because we complaining, man. We telling the Lord, we praying daily. All right, whether it be at our job, our house, wherever we at, man. We praying unto the Lord daily, man, letting them know that we trying to get up out of here. All right. Because we want this world to be established according to the Most High's judgments, yeah. all right? Not Esau's judgments, not, you know, these people's vain opinions on how they think it should be run. Because it's all wickedness, man, and vanity. Yeah. Esau destroying the earth now. The Lord gave him the fairness of the earth, and he's destroying it, man. All right? You look at the water, 
six point like what trillion fucking plastic in the ocean. That's a lot. Yeah, you know, all those shit, you you destroying the ecosystem. You know, it just show it just show how much of a devil you is, man. Alright? Yeah, the thing about those plastics, man, they, they contain what's, what's called xenoestrogen. Basically, what that is, is it replaces uh, uh, your your testosterone. That's why you got a bunch of uh, uh, effeminate men walking around today. You know, they say, they did a, a, an experiment, and healthy, you know, young men, you know, around that teenager and 20 years old, mid-20s, you know, that's when your testosterone should be at its peak level in your manhood, man. But it's half, they, they did a sperm count, and it's, on average, it's half of that which it was in the in elderly men in the 70s, you know? And it goes, it really goes with East Side Jim to depopulating the earth, all right? He might have trying to depopulate the earth, that's why he got a lot of, you know, moles walking around, you know? That's why he letting women think about abortion quick in the motherfucker, you know? It normally used to be the man, you know, like, hey, you know, I don't want this, you know, baby, right? Now as women, like, making, you know, making quick, like, shit, we're gonna get rid of the baby. Yeah, they, they view abortion as, you know, just clipping their nails. You know, it's wicked, man. You know, they, they're trying to, that, that's Esau's agenda is depopulate the earth, yeah. you know? Make, make men sterile so Jake can't repopulate. You know, go directly against the Most High. You know, Most High says, "Be fruitful and multiply." Esau's mo is destroy and kill, Man. divide and conquer. And mainly, hey, he when he want to destroy the Israelite man, cause we the fucking household, we the head of the household. We know what order is. Put Eve in a position. This shit gonna be confusing as hell. All right, show you that on social media. She gets social media, take by five pictures, get by five. You know, damn near a thousand likes just off her body, man. I don't know how, that shit tiring, man. That's why I say father is sitting great dignity. What you got, bro? Uh, this on um, Luke 18 and 7. And should not the most high avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Yeah, he gonna find faith through his elect, all right? He's not gonna find faith in you people that sit in great and great and bodies that sit in great dignity, man. Alright? You people, man, y'all I sit on y'all leaves, man. Y'all, y'all really, y'all, y'all really have received y'all constellation. Alright? You going to constellation, that's a comfort. You are comfort. You you have made an agreement with hell, man. Alright? You don't give a damn how many masses you were. Y'all just, y'all just won't look. It's like y'all doing anything to hold on to this kingdom, man. Let this bitch go. All right? This shit about to get destroyed, man. What more can you do? That's why we out here, man. Y'all playing games, bro. What the boys cracking? <laughs> this Revelation 6 and verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal... I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, Yahweh Hashem, holy and true, does not thou judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Lord, come back, man. And that's why we, hey, that's why we telling y'all to let this bitch go, man. Uh -huh. hey, he coming back with that fire. Now he coming back to destroy this earth, man. Real and wipe Esau off the face of this earth, man, after the judgment. Man, yeah. that's a needful thing. Esau being wiped off the earth is a needful thing. He got to get his ass up out of here. Right. He stayed in that seat too long, man. That motherfucker catching mold right now. All right? Shit, I ain't even taking care of, man. Fucking concrete. Okay, different fucking smells and shit. All right? Making these cars and shit. No matter how fresh the car is, the shit still polluting the earth. All right, then he doing GMO with your food. He touching your food and just like putting fucking chemicals in it. Like this a damn devil. Yo. But uh, shit, probably said in great dignity. So I see why people don't, you know, look into stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's be, they don't have time for this shit. So to say, they don't have time for the Lord. 
know, just to expound on the GMO foods, he puts what's called carcinogens in, in all, 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 all the foods, you know, all the processed, what he calls uh, uh, preservatives are really carcinogens, which means it, it's prone to give you cancer, you know, which are fatty cells that, that multiply themselves, you know, so the more you eat it, the more it grows, you know, as, as cancerous tumors, man. You know, I, I, you know, at my job, I pick up trash, and I was picking up this uh, uh, McDonald's milkshake or something, and there's a bunch of roaches in it, and they kept on eating it until they died, man. Because hey, hey. that's how, you know, the Esau makes it addictive, so you keep going after it. You know, you keep eating it because it doesn't give you the right nutrients to make you full, but it gives you that dopamine rush of, you know, uh, sugar and carbs. So you keep eating it until you fucking blow up, man. That's it. That's why, that's why obese people are, are dying, you know, whenever they get the common cold, or what Esau's calling COVID-19. You know, I you know I personally know some people that work in the, the hospitals. They say the only people dying from it are the elderly, which, you know, their, their immune system is already shot just because of their old age. And, and the and people that are obese, not taking care of themselves. You know, they already got diabetes and can't even breathe because their old fat is suppressing their their lungs from expanding. He so all it. it takes is yeah. yeah. So all it takes is some respiratory problems or a heart problem. You know, it doesn't take much. You get the sniffles and they're suffocating. Man, <laughs> man he saw be drugging the food. Hey, even back when the Popeyes chicken sandwich was on the hot. You know what I'm saying? I remember I ate there one time. You know, but after I ate there, shit, Jake just swarmed the whole place. They even ran a car into the building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to show you how how much folly and stupidity our people is, man. Yeah. They are simpletons, man. Yeah. Look up this word uh, for me, uh, uh, you know, look up stigmatized. It, 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 uh, something called MSG. This is everything, man. It make you more addicted for it. Stigmatized. Yeah, cause that, that's the one that, uh, that, that MSG, that's the one that speeds up your heart rates, right? Or your heart, heart rate? I got, I got to look back into it. Too. I know this, um, this shit like a dick in the tag. This is, uh, stigma, or stigmatized. This is second Ezra fifteen um, and and nine. And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Yeah. Hey, starting with Lil Nas, man. You know, I hate to bring him up, but he had a, it was a, a thing he posted yesterday. I think my, my little brother showed me. He said, after I'm, he said, after I'm done with the homo era, which means, you know, agenda, after I'm done with it, I'm going to go back to my cowboy agenda. We got to get the hell up out of here. All right, they put they they got they uh the rappers. All right, them the leaders of the people that's causing us the earth. All right, they teaching us how to murder, kill, sell drugs, and they ain't even doing it themselves. Like Cardi B, I watched the uh it was on Instagram. I watched how uh she said in that song I don't cook, I don't clean. Basically teaching Eve to be basically rebellious. But then this thing you know, man, I said he had the video on her and she basically was was cooking and cleaning. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just be pushing agendas, man. They want our people to feel like they got some power, man. You ain't got no power in this kingdom, man. All right? And your ways are what? Stigmatized. This is uh, stigmatized. It says, describe or regard as worthy of disgrace or great Say the square. 
ascribe or regard as worthy of disgrace or great disapproval. Yeah, so the Lord is in disapproval with this place, man. All right? Like, how long will you people love simplicity? Okay? We are at the final end of this kingdom being, being destroyed. Like, come on now, they got a new variant, a new uh, pestilence coming out. They got the monkeypox, okay? Uh, other countries having an uproar, all right? World War III is about to come, man. I can't forget about that. Shit, that's, the, that's what we waiting on, man. We want this place to be destroyed, man. Right. All right? Amos 9 to 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord you have us much shot all upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. Saving that I utterly destroy the house of Jacob. That means an elect going to be eight. Hey, uh, uh, what did it say? But the part therein should be uh, shook, shook. Yeah. Yeah. But the Lord is going to save his elect though, man. All right? That's why you got Job, um, Jeremiah 30 and 7. It say, but he shall be saved. And if, if you can get there from me, I know. Yeah, I got you. Because, man, destruction is coming. Whether you people like it or not, whether you paying attention or not, whether you listening or not, it's still coming, man. Yeah. All right? Jeremiah 37, and last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. Yeah, he should be saved out of it, man. That he being the elect, man. They say that day is great. None is like it. That lines up with Matthew 24 and 21. Get that, bro. Get that, because, man, look. You people, y'all, y'all think y'all seen some, man. Y'all think y'all seen 9-11 when that shit, you know, when that shit happened. All right, that happened the day after I was born. All right. Y'all think y'all seen it, seen some crazy shit, all right? That Lebanon missile. You remember when they hit that John and it blew up in Lebanon? Big ass Lebanon, building. Lebanon, Lebanon. the what? <laughs> in Lebanon, man, knock man, everybody. Hey, ooh, that, you know what? That was beautiful because folks was giving it to marriage that day. You had about like two wedding recitals that day. Matter of fact, it wasn't even a wedding recital. They were taking their pictures. And the woman, when it blowed up, her fucking dress went like this. I was tripping. I was like, man, look. <laughs> she was horrified. Yes! That's what we want, man. We want you people to feel horrified, man. We tired of seeing y'all smiling. What the fuck you smiling for? The Lord is coming on his way, man. I mean, he on his way, all right? And he gonna lay this shit desolate, all right? Just like DMX. <laughs> this is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 21. <clears throat> For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Man, that should be smoking that day, man. Pressure. The Lord gonna put pressure on you Israelites, man. Because Jacob's trouble is for you. All right, yeah, these other nations gonna get involved and shit. But it's mainly for Israel, man. All right? Because y'all provoked the Lord, man. Y'all went, y'all worked, y'all not hearing the prophets. Hey, even in the old times, y'all didn't acknowledge a power that chose you, man. All right? Get that Baruch right quick. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the, the Most High to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. Yeah, y'all the same murmuring people that was in Exodus, man. Yeah. Uh, Moses, when we gonna eat, man? You brought us out here to die? Y'all complain, man. That's the problem with our people. They complain about the wrong shit. That's the problem, man. Y'all not focused on the on the, on, on the uh, problem, on the event that's at hand, man, which is basically America being destroyed. But you want to walk back and forth. Walking back and forth ain't going to get you saved, bro. This fixed. This, 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 this is Ezekiel 21 and 10. It is sharp to make a soul slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. So we did make month. It contaminates the water of my son is every tree. 
I just like the brother was saying, uh, just, it's not the time to be smiling and laughing, getting it, getting it, so to speak, man. All hell about to break loose. What, what, what are you smiling for? All time tribulation about to come. And the brother speaking, hey, Jacob Trouble about to come. What's the brother speaking on, man? That, hey, most I about to use uh, his whooping stick, this war, Esau Edom. For you Israelites, so called black, Spanish, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. So now it's time to get it while the getting is good. Seek you have us more shepherd before it's too late, man. It says, seek the Lord while he may be found, man. Yeah. Because we're going to come into a time where you're going to try to seek, uh, you're going to want counsel then, but counsel going to be gone. Jake always want to get, <laughs> Jake will commit a murder and then go back home and try to, you know, act all, you know, innocent. Now he want to cry and pray and shit, you know. Like off a of baby boy when they say when he was after he shot or oh, what's night, he was in the room and put anything down. He felt miserable, man. Okay? And that's how you people gonna feel when their time hit, man. It's gonna hit. When they say when they should say when they should say peace, then sudden destruction. Alright? It's gonna hit y'all ass harder than the blind side hitting football, man. Okay? This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Ooh, man, those missiles. Them just going to get busy upon this place, man. What, uh, what, a cleaning agent? Fire is a cleaning agent? This shit is going to cleanse this, man. That's the only way how this stuff can be knocked down. Not by water, because... If you tell it, think about it, you can flood this jump, but it'll just basically be decaying over time. But the Lord wants that quick hit. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that's going to blow up. You know, he loves dramatics, man. All right? He's known by his what? Judgment. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, what well, mindset you supposed to be having, man? Yeah. You're supposed to be aware. Ah, right? you supposed to be watching. You're not supposed to be worrying about when Moneybag gonna drop his next album. You know what I'm saying? Or or or, or when uh, the new fucking beats gonna come out or some shit. All right, whatever you people are, are in, or when the new fucking TikTok dance gonna come out. Y'all worried about the wrong things. All right, or when or <laughs> trying to move up in your position at work. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna own this shit later. Get the fuck out of here. You're supposed to be worried about the times that I in hand, man. Okay? The evil times that's been to approach the earth. Uh, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt away <clears throat> with fervent heat. Man. And then, man, when you do, when you ask people, Man, do you believe America gonna get destroyed? They, they'll either say two things, I don't know, or I don't care, we die every day. Shit, not that death. The Lord said when he started killing people, death should flee them. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of death is gonna flee you people, man. So whatever situation, hey, the Lord said he gonna laugh at your calamity, all right? It probably is one in 22, yep, brother. Because that was um, back in um, World War Two when they were uh, experiencing um, what's that, um, shell shock. Yes, yes, sir. They wanted to die. You had someone try to kill themselves, but this, because death is a spirit. And pretty, if we come to Jake in trouble, you could go up and try to jump out our buildings, whatever. But the spirit of death going to flee from you, man. <laughs> you see? This lets you know you don't have power of your life. When the most I want to kill you, you dead. You know? It said, let every soul be subject to the higher power. To your high, to the higher power. Yeah, Ultimately, you have about Shem out of shot. And you people, man, they say, oh, you you other camps, they be like, don't worship uh, your high of shot. Man, fuck y'all, man. The Lord ain't dealing with y'all, bro. Y'all are stupid. I don't think I can tell to y'all is just repent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, I'm going to show you a little mercy. Just repent, man. That's all you can do. Cause, Cause, your mouth gon' your, your mouth gon' fuck you up, man. Yep. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty-two. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Yeah. And the scorners delight in the scorning, 
And fools hate knowledge. Yeah, and fools hate knowledge, man. Speaking to you, Israelites, man. What it say the fool have said in his in his heart, there is no God. Y'all don't even, man. Y'all, man. I can count on, man. I can't even fuck count on my hands. I mean, uh, y'all don't even pray when y'all wake up in the morning, man. All right, or pray before you go to sleep. All right. Here it is. You use the Bible to to to. You use it in a way like like you like to say. You like to cherry pick scriptures and shit. To, to benefit your life. You know what I'm saying? You try to, uh, 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 only God can judge me. Or, no, nah, he said of men, they can judge you, man. All right? And that's us. The prophets that's out through, the, that, that's throughout the four corners, man. All right? Even overseas. Okay? You got London. You got the Bahamas. Okay? You got another one, brother. Australia. You got Australia. Germany, hey. China. Prophets everywhere. Right. The four corners of the earth. Right. And the Lord said, when this whole thing on deck. Verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And how he do that? Through his prophets. Okay? He's speaking through us to give to relay the message unto you. We the messengers. Alright? Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Okay, so when things start to happen unto you because you're not hearkening unto the Lord, when Esau kicked down your door because you want to egg hard and not open up your door to take the vaccine and he will separate you from your family, all right? Then that's when Jake gonna want to get it. It's gonna be too late then. Shit, your hey. fucking brains all over the goddamn floor. Yeah, I, I, what what profit will you be? Like what what profit will you be unto the Lord? You know what what good of a servant can you do when the time of calamity is approached, man? You can't do anything because the whole service, you know, of, of the Lord is to get is to warn our people, tell them the lifestyle that they're supposed to live, and warn them about the calamities coming. But in the midst of calamities, you can't warn nobody. It's already there. You know, that's like deciding you want to warn somebody about to get hit by a car right when it's two feet from them. It's 70 miles an hour. Yeah, it's already happening. Yeah. That's like you saying, that's like you saying, watch out for your speeding car when his head is under the tire. Man. Ain't no good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, like that woman that committed a in that room, brother put on the woods out. Man, she didn't know that she didn't know what she was doing wrong till he down there till he got to her stabbing the head. <laughs> she, I bet she in the spirit where like fuck I'm dumb. That's how a lot of you people gonna feel, man. Y'all gonna feel stupid as hell when 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 trouble kick out, man. Okay? Y'all goals that y'all had set in life, that shit gonna feel. It's uh that's in the Zephaniah the first chapter. It say, man, they windows should be darkened. Basically it's talking about your hope. Yeah. Everybody want to hope in the wrong shit. I hope America get back, back great again. I hope they respect us as black people. Number one, you're not black. Black is a byword, man. Black is a term that's used to, to it's like, this, this, this nigga is a devil, man. He gonna use the words that he is, he gonna put it on you. Call you black, savage, wicked. And then he just gonna go out and call himself white. Nigga, you ain't white. You are Edomite. You programmed to kill on sight. You a murderer. And you gonna show that in the day of, in the day of evil. Proverbs one and twenty seven. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. They're not going to find the Lord in that day. Why? Because the man of the Lord, the servant, is going to be off the highways and byways. It's that's the, uh, the family of the word, Amos 8 and 11, which is prophecy, which is not. Well, the page is getting clipped, you know, and so on. Bro. So the family of the word got to gotta come. You're not, so now it's time to get it now. The Lord's hand still stretched out still, man. 
but people they in their own personal bubble. You know what I'm saying? So their bubble gotta get popped. America, America bubble about to get popped. Yeah. The, the dollar crashing before your eyes, man. The middle class, that, that's about finished. You see? If I keep getting up there telling y'all that everything gonna be all right. Yeah. Nigga lying to y'all, man. Operation Warp Speed, did y'all forget about that? Mm. I guess y'all did, man. Yeah. And, and you know what's crazy about that? Because he, he, he brought Operation Warp Speed up in November and September. So now, it's, the, it's around this same time again. You know, and he really implementing this junk, okay? Yep. France up there going crazy, man. They over there fucking about to fucking kill. Man, they, they looking for the damn mayor right now. Hey, Estrella, hey, Hades, everywhere. Huh. Hey, you, you would think, you would think uh, he would go this hard during the winter. Uh, he started early, man. And that's Revelation 12 and 12. He know he had but a short time, man. He signed his way no more, man. Ain't no more practice drill, so to speak, man. He's about to go ahead and implement it, man. Australia already said new world order. It's out there in your face. Ain't no more sugarcoating this, man. Yeah, yeah. And there's, there's rumors about, you know, that date, August 11th, how they're going to uh, yep. do uh, certain experiments and trials about shutting the internet down and having a blackout. Mm. You know? EMP, that's my favorite weapon, man, for you niggas, man. Because all you niggas, y'all get on social media. Man, I, I mean, I stopped dealing with my social media for a week. I want to go on two because this shit yeah. just, it, it, oh, shit, I am. I'm going to go on two because, man, this, it's, it feels good not to be on social media, man. Yeah, it's like free. Man, every time you get on there, motherfuckers want to show you their house just arrived, 845. Like, man, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> social media promotes basically wickedness, adultery, half naked women, filth. Oh, it, it, it promotes dis uh, disgust, filth, man. Yeah, yeah it's, you really think about it. It's just uh, uh, online, uh, what do they call it? Uh, when, when anonymous. Your anonymous uh, uh, polyamorous relationship when you log on to the, to the internet. Because yeah. it's a bunch of dudes simping for women. It's a bunch of women trying to attract dudes. So it's just an an online anon uh, anonymous polyamorous relationship whenever you get on there. Yeah, a lot of idolizers. Going back to what you said in that car last night, you said, man, look, Jay Woman got another man's name on the back of her, you know, jersey, and then Jake got another man on his, you know what I'm saying? Like, idolizing, man. Okay? Oh, my God. This is, uh, this is Judges 10 and 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Mm. Let hey. Jesus deliver you. <laughs> he, do, he do a good job. You know, y'all y'all say his name a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? No power whatsoever, man. Yeah. Because it's going to, you know, during that time of Jacob's trouble, he's going to allow you to, you know, trust in your bunkers. He's going to allow you to trust in your job, trust in your FRNs. You know, and you're trusting your handgun because yeah, yeah, a lot weapons. of handgun stores are empty. Yeah, you're just gonna say, all right, if that's what you want to uh, uh, bank on, let's see how it holds up in the day of my wrath. Yeah, let's see who overpowers in that day. He's calling these gods out, man. man. Hey, and through the spirit of Yahweh Bashemel Shai, the men of the Lord are calling out these gods too. You know, that's showing the confidence that we have in the Most High, in our power, in Yahweh Shai coming back delivering us on those so-called UFOs, those chariots, you know? You know, we, we can call out Esau, man, when he has these nukes <laughs> just on the press of the button. We're still prophesying against his face, man. That's how confident we are in, in those names of Yahweh, who is son Yahweh shot. It's like, man, those names are powerful, man. They got us talking shit in Esau king. We telling him how his kingdom gonna fall. You know what I'm saying? You can't do shit about it, but watch. Mm -hmm. Alright? <laughs> let me wrap it up. Let me wrap it up. Yeah, I've been closing three shows. So I'm seeing this to go. Let me get that revelation. Is it all there? Nine. Yeah. How did it go? Dang, it's up to the floor. Dang, it's 10, 25. Zeke is it. I got it right here. Oh, uh, this is Zeke. Like this is Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 25. 
destruction coming, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Hey, that's the point, man. I, we coming into some evil times. It's not going to get better, man. It's going to get worse and worse, man. Okay, 2022, he got locked. He got camps for you people that refuse to take the juice, man. All right? He's not going to care about your grandma or your uncle. He's going to snatch their ass up by their two front teeth and put their ass right in the camp, man. All right? He not playing with y'all, man. And ultimately, that's the Lord. That's the judgment of, of the Heavenly Father. He not, the Lord, you how about Shema Shai is not playing with you. Okay? <laughs> yeah, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect out there. Once again, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's wishing this word in all truth and sincerity. Shall we